Good morning and what an awesome day it is. God is on his throne. He is in full control and we are following the Lord Jesus Christ, loving him with all of our strength, with all of our heart, with all of our might. It is such a privilege to walk with the Lord. And I want to share a verse from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 37. And I was blessed when I read this verse. Verse 37. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years, who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. I mean, this is I, this is Anna here, the prophetess Anna from the tribe of Asher. Asher means happy. So she's from the happy tribe and she's widowed. She is living in the temple, serving Jehovah with prayers and with fastings night and day. She would be up throughout the night into the early hours of the morning interceding and praying. She would go without food. She would fast in absolute dedication to God, to seek God's will. She's a prophetess. She knows what is on God's heart. She, get, she would get dreams. She would get visions. The Lord would speak to her by revelation. She would have that intuitive knowledge from the Lord. Uh, in fact, prayers here in, in the Greek, it's referring to a specific uh, felt need. Um, it's uh, urgent and it's personal. And she's in prayer and uh, it's like her whole body, her whole soul, her spirit is 100% engaged in the activity of prayer, seeking the Lord day and night. I mean, this prophetess, Anna, is almost like she's like an oracle of God there in the temple and would speak on God's behalf. Now, wouldn't you just love to have some little old lady like that in your church? And for all we know, we might do, but we have not taken the time to spend with some of the older folks, to hear their story, to hear their journey of faith. And we don't know which old people in their 80s are up at night interceding for the Christian ministry, interceding for souls to be saved. But what really blew my circuit and really touched my heart when I was reading this, it was that little verse, that, that word, that little, it says, but served God with fastings and prayer. Now, served here is, is a technical term uh, in the Greek, and it refers to somebody who's hired for a specific purpose to accomplish a specific task because they are qualified. Prophetess Anna, she is qualified in praying and fasting. It's like she is qualified to enter into the presence of the Lord and receive from God what is on his heart. Uh, and I just think this is amazing because I look at my own prayer life and I ask the question, <laughs> am I technically qualified? like Anna was in intercession. She knew what was on God's heart so that she could share it with others. She had an intimacy with the Lord, so much so they allow her to stay in the temple. She wouldn't leave the temple. She would probably sleep there, um, who did not depart from the temple. This is a lovely lady who is uniquely qualified in prayer. And, I, and it's challenging, isn't it? Do I have a prayer life like the prophetess Anna? Is there somebody in the church 
who prays like Anna. We should always be encouraging people to spend time in prayer and in intercession because we need God to come down into our lives, into our churches, into our communities to rescue lost souls and to help us through the issues that we face. But also we need this prophetic cutting edge to our ministry. And, and I think to a large degree, the church has lost the prophetic edge. Yeah, some of it is, it's got carried away with high in the sky revelations and prophecies by some. But where is the genuine? Where is the authentic older man or older woman who has walked with the Lord, served him and is technically qualified to intercede, to know the heart of God and to share that? those whom the Lord wants it revealed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we need you so much. We need your anointing. We need your spirit. Raise up prayer warriors, Lord, in their old age, I pray, and younger prayer warriors. Lord, where is the man or woman of God who is technically qualified for prayer and intercession? Lord, speak to our hearts today. Lead us, we ask, and pour out your spirit for Jesus' glory, Father. Amen. And may the love of the Lord bless you and fill you this day.